Good evening, I'm Sheer Matt Zhao. Thank you for joining us here on this Friday edition of the News at 10. Well, it's no secret, Idaho continues to grow and welcome new people to the area every day. And as a result, more rural areas in Valley County are struggling to keep up with the demand, but agencies have plans to meet the needs of their growing community. And our Tristan Lewis joins us now with a look at these plans and how the public is needed to make this a reality. Tristan. Shira, we've been talking all week about the growth in resort communities like Valley County. And while affordable housing continues to remain at the top of mind, essential services like fire and medical need to plan alongside that growth. And that's why voters in the Cascade area will see a bond and a levy increase on their ballots this year. Growth is a hot topic in Idaho, especially in areas like Valley County. Right now we have great challenges. As people are joining us, expectations are very high from other areas. With more growth, resources in Cascade are having to plan ways to help meet the demand. We are an aging demographic in Valley County. We will have more and more need of good health care available up here. Cascade Medical Center is going for a $19 million bond to fund a brand new facility. CEO Tom Reinhardt says the current one is outdated and too small for the growing community. We're only about half the size that we need to be in order to serve the people that we take care of today. Back in 2020, CMC hired a consulting firm that found the medical center would need a facility three times the size to meet the current and anticipated needs. Keep in mind our community swells to two and three and four times its normal size certain times of the year. Reinhardt says they looked at just renovating their current facility, but it wouldn't be enough to bring it to what's considered today's standard level of care. We don't have the physical land here to grow on. Uh, we wouldn't be able to grow enough even to serve the people we serve today. So that would be a poor investment in the future. If approved, property owners would pay $68 for each $100,000 in taxable property value. And it's not just CMC looking at the future. Cascade Rural Fire District is looking to expand too. We like to provide a high level of service and to do that at this point, it just um, will, uh, we're going to need more funding to do that. The fire district is asking voters to approve an increased levy. The district is proposing an 83 cent increase, which would bring the total to $1.33 per $1,000 of assessed value. If approved, the levy would total $600,000, which would use to fund additional staff. It will double the amount of staff that we have on right now. In 2010, Hull says the Cascade Fire responded to 285 incidents. In 2019, they responded to 470. With the additional growth, we, we will have more calls and, and more more back-to-back -back calls. And that's the hard part for, for me to be able to staff for that is a is back-to-back -back calls. And Cascade Medical Center's bond will be on the ballot in the May election. And approved, CMC says it'll be built as soon as 2025. And Cascade Rural Fire District's levy will be on the November election. Shira? All right, no doubt something a lot of counties are dealing with right now. Thanks, Tristan.